Hey guys, what's going on? I thought I'd give you guys a tour of my garrison today and see uh, see how it's coming along. Oh, by the way, check out the uh, this new mount I found this morning. This is a, a mount that dropped from a rare mob in the Grand called Knack the Thunderer. So I was pretty excited when I, I saw him up this morning. That was cool. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at my crib. Um, so this is a level 3 garrison. Let's go to my... My town hall. The town hall is like the, the central headquarters. Central of operations for your whole garrison. So here it is. I was saving up for, for a while to, to finally get a level 3 town hall here. Alright, so you walk in and you get a command table. And this is where you can send your followers out to do missions. You can give them XP. Well, they get rewarded XP from the missions. Your followers level up. They come back with gold sometimes, sometimes they come back with items, little other weapon upgrades and, and little fun things. Sometimes you get garrison resources for missions, so that's cool. Over here you have an architect table, and this is where you design your garrison. A whole bunch of different buildings that you can plop down on large, medium, and small plots. Each, uh, each size plot has different buildings you, you plop down on them. And these buildings give you certain perks, which is really cool. The first building I'd recommend you guys get is a lumber mill, because this will this will speed up your your whole garrison because the lumber mill generates resources to build things. So that's cool. So I got a lumber mill, um, and then I, I have a scribe's quarters, a salvage yard, and an enchanter study. I made a scribe's quarters because I thought maybe I could make the the new Dark Moon Fair Trinkets. Uh, so, so we'll see how that goes. Salvage Yard. This one recommended to me that I, that I get this. Um, I haven't really seen the, the perks of this yet. I really haven't gotten to use it yet. So um, we'll see how that goes. This, this Salvage Yard allows you to get like scraps from, from missions and stuff. So I wonder what those are. The scraps are. I have an Enchanter study. Made this so I could enchant my gear with uh, you know the new enchants because they seem to be really expensive on the auction house right now. Uh, what else? Like I have a gladiator sanctum. This is a PVP building. What you do is you kill enemies. You kill other players in Draenor. In my case, I'm killing alliance, and when I kill them, I get bones, and I bring the bones back to the sanctum, and I get rewarded with like gold and, and honor and stuff, and. It's only level 1 right now, but level 3, actually check this out, level 2, enables safe fall and underwater breathing in outdoor Draenor zones. And then level 3, while below 35% life, all damage taken is reduced by 50% in outdoor Draenor zones, and grants access to the Heimal Coliseum Gladiator Tournament. So that sounds like a lot of fun. I want to I wanna be able to access the, the Gladiator Tournament. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Then I have a barracks, this is where you, this is what enables you to send your followers on missions. And I don't have this, this battle pet building unlocked, I don't have the fishing thing unlocked yet. I have a level 2 herb garden, and a level 2 mines, so, so those are cool. And what else? Yeah, a lot of my buildings are still level 1, because I was dumping all my resources into getting a level 3 uh, town hall. It's a great haul now. Awesome. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's go out and, and take a look at everything. Oh, wait, wait. This table here, what is this called? Just a table. War planning map. You get, like, dailies here that reward Apexus crystals. So, and I believe Apex Apexus crystals are the new currency used to get gear and stuff in, in Draenor. So, okay. Yeah, come down here. I've got an enchanter study here. I got a little essence thing that I can click on and I can actually disenchant items in my in my bags. So that's neat. And then the dark I talk to her us. and she's got like a weapon enchant. Oops. Yeah, weapon enchant. She's got ring enchant. Yeah, she's got a whole bunch of enchants. So that's neat. I wonder if she offers more enchants as I rank this up, because it's only level one right now. I'm not sure on that. And I got my scribes thing over here. Check it out. What can I do? See, this is what I'm trying to do. You can make these Dark Moon cards. So I'm gonna try and get a, a full, full set of these cards and, and see if I can get a, 
the new trinket. They're probably not even good at the trinkets aren't probably aren't good in PvP because you're lo losing the set bonus and stuff, but we'll see. And then the salvage yard, so so yeah. Oh, my lumber mill's up here. That's where I bring scrap wood and he rewards me with uh, garrison resources, so that's nice. This is an empty plot. Haven't done anything with that yet. And that's my barracks, and then it's my gladiator sanctum. Just like a dude standing on a pile of bones. Okay, up here's my mine. These are these are really cool guys. The mines in the herb garden. Like I don't even have mining or herbing, and it lets me mine stuff. So yeah, you come down here. And there'll be a whole bunch of nodes. You mine everything, you bring them back up, and then you can give some ore to this guy and create some work orders from him. And then in a few hours, he'll have like a shipment done, and you can collect uh, collect some loot. So that's cool. The loot is like more of, you know, crafting materials and stuff like that. Same thing with the herb garden. Same concept. Here's my herb garden, level two. Uh, yep. Send your work orders to this this torrin, and you pick up your shipment here. That's neat. Um, oh, over here is like a secret cave. You guys seen this yet? It's over here, I believe. You jump in the water. Yeah, down here. Yeah. So when I first discovered this cave, there was like a whole giant, whole bunch of crates over here. And I looted it and it didn't really have much. It just gave me some resources, I think. And that's the only thing I've ever, ever seen in this cave is just that, those boxes that one time. And well, let me show you guys another spot where you get resources when you log in. Yeah, every time you log in, guys, or every time you come to your garrison, check on the side of your town hall. Right over here. I don't have it right now because I just collected it recently, but there's like a crate that you can get resources from. So that's cool. And let's see. Yeah. That's my garrison so far, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, it's it's still a work in progress. I'm still learning a lot about how garrisons work, but uh, yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Let me know uh, how you guys have your garrison set up, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.